back with WSJ Lunch Break. I'm Wendy Bounds. What happens when the founder of rock group Velvet Underground goes back to his creative stomping grounds? Well, some strange memories get dredged up about bed springs and more. Mark Myers uh, has done just that with John Cale, the founder of the Velvet. You went back with him to his old stomping ground. And where is that? It's down on Ludlow Street on the Lower East Side. Here in New York? It is, yeah. Uh, and let's just talk about the time period when John Cale was there. Six, 1964, 1965 to the end of 65. How did you get him to, to, to do this? How did you get him to go back, convince him to go back there? Well, I interviewed him last fall, and I threw the idea out to him, and John's on the edge. I mean, he's an edgy guy, so he said, yeah, let's do it. Of course, I had to then pave the way with the current owners, <laughs> who, of course, like a New York story, turn out to be bohemian artists on the cutting edge who are John Cale fans. So it's perfect. It's like it bookends the story right there. Perfect. The, the, this apartment, how does it so aptly symbolize these early gritty stages of Cale's creative career? Today, of course, it's a nice co-op, completely been refurbished. <laughs> right. But back then, it was a railroad flat, just raw apartment running from the windows all the way back to a one bedroom with bathroom. It's pretty much it, fireplace and no heat. Classic. And this, and this inspired a lot of sort of his creativity. And one memory he had with you there was uh, about bed springs from that apartment. Quickly, what was that? Uh, what they did is they skinned down a mattress, put the bed, screen, uh, the bed springs up against the window to let in air and light, but keep out the crooks off the uh, fire escape. But he wishes he had it today because he says it would make a great art piece. Because in some ways you, you, you can't get that kind of gritty creativity if you have too much that's decorated around you, right? That just sort of fuels, fuels it. Minimalist. Now you got to, uh, you took some footage of bringing Kale back down there, and I think we should hear a little bit from him in some of his own words. Let's take a listen. It's it's uh, c confusion. It's uh, cause try, uh, trying to uh, trying to appreciate what has changed at the same time, really having some kind of nostalgia for the place. I mean, we, uh, remembering the good times that we had and where, where we cracked some ideas and and then realizing that the, you know you can't recreate that so I'll, I'll miss the mattress 